Alright guys, uh, so finally stopped raining, had a few days of shit weather and I'm able to get the car now to the racetrack to get some baseline numbers. Uh, an SRT just drove by, hoping he was going to join us. Um, so I'm about to get there and now I'm literally just pulled in. Definitely, like I said, getting some baseline numbers. I don't think there's going to be many people here, so I should be able to race a lot. So, we'll see how that works, and I'll talk to you guys in a few minutes. Alright guys, I already got the first two passes in. Um, pass number one was a 9.54 at 76 miles an hour. Second pass, I red lit, kind of, sort of, almost on purpose. Um, it was a 9.5 at uh, 75 miles an hour. Hair faster, speed a little slower. Um, we're about to go right now for pass number three, and uh, I hope this battery lasts tonight, because it's looking dead already. But I do have a charger. Gotta charge my other one. All right, well, one battery looks dead. Lining up to go race now. I don't know how I'm gonna do this because I mean I gotta drive and I'm using a selfie stick. But uh, we're gonna figure this out. Everyone's cooling off their cars over there. My car seems to be running very nice. Your car sounds like fucking ass balls. Got to censor that one now. Alright, so run number three was a that's run number four. Run number three was a 955, same time at uh 76. I believe that was my fastest. Uh run number four is 944. I'm under 95 at uh 77. That is my fastest. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated. I'll try to videotape as much as I can, but camera's dead almost. Let me check. 20%, so I might be able to do a little bit more. I got it. All right, guys, so, uh, got the GoPro plugged in. Going for pass number five right now. Um, put the T-tops back on. Um, I know it's gonna help the aerodynamics. Um, at this point, it's just a matter of how much. Um, and, you know, if I were to get a mile an hour out of it, I'd be surprised. Um, I also, there's a there's an SLP um, air filter lid um, on the car, but there's a stock air filter. So I went ahead and I took that stock air filter right out. So uh, I got no air filter on. I'm only gonna make a pass on it, just see what happens. I got fucking. Sure, they're up 
to 35. They need to be a minimum of 30, closer to 25. I mean, they're just, they're, they're street tires. They're not drag tires at all. <coughs> all right, so with, with tires spinning, I, I went to 80, 80 miles an hour, I think. I'll have to double check to what it actually was. traditional uh, clip for you guys so I really can't show you guys what's going on kind of sort of trying to hide the camera from them I'm pretty sure they want me to pay attention to what I'm doing or something like that so uh, I'll let you know when I ran the last two runs in a second all right guys so I kind of lost track of how many passes I made I think it made about 15 <coughs> Um, I'm going to show all the time slips, and you're going to see a couple, and you're going to laugh. Um, so halfway through, I was testing around with taking off, taking the air filter out, and uh, when I was looking at the air filter, I realized how narrow. There's just a little slip, or a little slit, and that uh, that's all that allows air in to the whole car, or engine for that matter. So I took... Uh, I undid the air box so it would just run open, no filter, no nothing. And there was this little weather strip on there. And it was hitting the map. It was it was messing up the math sensor. Didn't throw a code, which I found hilarious. But um, it kept on just killing the car mid-run. And not knowing what it is, I just let off. So you're going to see some runs in there that were um, like 12, 13 seconds at 50 miles an hour. It's because I let off. Um, I'm not going to stay in it if the car's not acting right. Um, it took me a couple runs. I think I did three like that. Um, I kept on going because at first I thought it was the traction control shutting me down. Uh, second, I thought it was... I don't know, the second time I thought it was warm, turned the contracts control back on and did the same thing, so I don't know. You know, I did one run with it on, one with it off, and then I did a third run and I'm like, you know what, I might as well just see what's going on, put the box back on. And uh, once I did that, that fixed it. Um, my best time of the night is 9.22. Not bad for essentially a stock car. It's got an SLP um, air box, and the owner said it had SLP tips on it. Um, I mean, I can tell it's not stock. It might have an SLP muffler on it. But uh, there's modifications to come, definitely in the works. I don't know 100% everything that's gonna happen, but uh, I, I got a bunch of stuff lined up. try to get something set up so I can actually videotape while I race um, you know I obviously I have the, the helmet cam for the bike um, if it comes on I'll just wear that I don't care you need to get these t-tops off it's warm in here 